Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Alistair Cole, and today I'm bringing you the biggest update so far onto the map. Now, I'm actually going to decide I'm going to do an actual gameplay video. Now, what makes this the biggest update is a very... Well, as you can see here, though, I've already showed it off in a previous video. There are a lot of locations, including Camp Samaritan, Camp Sovereign, and etc. But what makes it the biggest update so far is actually something very small. And you've probably noticed if you've seen the other video. And you might have just thought it was a smudge on your screen, but right there. That is my goal. And that will definitely be probably one of the most important locations on the entire map for a while. That is currently the only location where you can get radiation filters and suits accordingly. Now, and you can also get the SNES, SNAP gray area, yeah, the Dragon off. Um, you can get vipers and you can get I think that's it there's like another gun I think um, that you can get with it but they're all very very rare like incredibly rare about as rare as the filters and there's also a boss that spawns down there that is harder than all the other ones on here actually most of the zombies down there but it's difficult as the knights down at Castle Galfrey so I still haven't added any loot into Camp Samaritan and Camp Sovereign yet. I haven't. I'm well, actually not in here working. Most of the time, I haven't even been in my room. Um, I'm having to go do something else. Just came back. I said, hey, there's gonna be a dead zone. There needs to be a way to get in there, right? And so I went and made that. It took a while, and it, this is definitely gonna be one of the most dangerous locations to loot. Um, you can also get a butterfly knife. I thought I should go ahead and mention that. Um, I think also a machete. I don't, I don't remember what's all in the loot table because there's a lot. It's mainly medical. And there's two different loot tables down there. There's the usual like doctor one, which sucks to be honest. And then we have the good old uh, hazmat one. Uh, of course, there's going to be higher tier hazmat loots, and you cannot get a gas mask from it. Now you can get a full biohazard suit, but I think you have to have the full suit to work like the gas mask. I don't know. But I made the helmet piece the uh, rarest piece, being as rare as the filters, just in case. The actual rest of the suit and the chest plate and legs, those are pretty actually common. I only put them on uh, the rare. Uh, goes on that particular one, I think it goes. Common, uncommon, rare, legendary, then dead zone. So yeah, not, not too rare. I think it's like 16% or something. Chance. It, it's a pretty good drop. Alright, so now for this place, how am I going to loot it? I'm seeing this uh, truck right here, and I'm thinking... There's a bunch of zombies. I have a car. Oh, it doesn't have any battery in it. That could cause problems. Alright. Now the uh, zombies down there are definitely tougher than the uh, strong police zombies on here. Hmm, this car is a battery. I'm going to try running over all these guys right here. Depending on how much fuel it has. Ooh, ooh, ooh boy. Surprise! That was kind of bad, but now we can go after these. Yeah, that was a lot more successful. Now, pull a good old wheel, turn, whack, oh crap. Okay, we cannot crash. That could be like the worst thing that could happen right now. It's for me to crash. Alright. Hop out fast. Oh crap, I forgot to get the police armor. That could be a problem. Vanya mag, flashlight. <clears throat> Good taller that light. Pickaxe. <coughs> Quick, pop off the armor. <coughs> Alright, and now the pants. Uh, a plaid shirt. So, yeah, we did manage to kill a lot there with that. That's about what we were going for. I prefer to get a little bit more than that. And I'm gonna die because 
the stupid zombie. <sighs> I mean, I guess we could scalp it. Yeah, salvage this because we are basically bleeding because of I forgot to take that off. Nope, you get off my head. And we'll also turn that into Man, I just cheated so hard, I think. Alright. We do need better medical. Okay, I think we can take the car and run over them. I'm an idiot. pizza. Let's go ahead and get there this stupid flashlight. Yeah, I definitely wrecked my car. Okay, stun him, kill him. Yep, alright. Let's see if we can back out of this mess because we're definitely gonna need this car later. Yeah, we're gonna need that later. So we can't just Alright, sweet. So now we can use that other car. Could really use that. It's gonna kill this zombie, I guess. Three, two, one, <clears> pop. <throat> what the frick? Damn, he was able to hit me without looking at me. I'm just gonna put the battery in the truck because who knows might be we could die and then later come by here and need the truck. Really, 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 really want to go down. Screw you. Down to the. Uh, Charsonville? We need to get there. There's a, quite a drive, though. Okay, we have to be very careful here. Okay, we have at least four militiamen. So replacing my melee and probably my actual gun. I don't know about that yet. <laughs> Jeez, it drew a lot over. How many shots are in that cult? Seven, six. All right. Let's go ahead and get that cult equipped. 
because you never know. Okay, we're gonna be super careful. <laughs> you might want to pick on just these two. How many shots are in the Terminator? Eight right now? It's not bad. This town is not too bad. We need to get to the bank, obviously. So I don't know if I post that kind of video, but the best way to loot this town is to take over the bank. Oh no, that we got spare ammo for it. We are gone. Sport shots, sport shots are disgusting. We don't need that gun right now. That sound. Interesting. Jeez. Okay, good. Okay, now we just need to hawk out of them while we'll have plenty of ammo. Alright, I know this has been a little bit of a slow one for you guys, but it's also very important that I get properly geared before I head over there because I would die. Right, it's not a startup area, for sure. You can't easily get a melee weapon. The zombies there have. Above even normal normal game zombie health, all of them do. 
And, um, actually a very big amount. The church, the walk there would be such a pain. All right, we're gonna kill that flamer dude there. We're gonna kill him. And we're gonna get this guy first. Man, I think it's great that I got medical. But, are you kidding me? All right, let's get Get the swig. All right, now. That could be very useful. All right. I was considering also making the location a dead zone just to make it more difficult to loot. Depending on how easy it is for me to loot. Oh yeah, you probably noticed that they're uh, I have the drop smith set, which is kind of funny. So I drop my police sniper. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I might use that in a minute here. <laughs> right, especially now that we got that. Screw my looting guy, I think this is... I mean, I, as I said, the knife does work at first. You can see there. Definitely did work at first, but then you start drawing large groups. No matter how careful you are. There's a freaking donut. <laughs> Try to aggro. Three on one. And this one is giving me some concern. Not the burner, but this guy right here. I don't know. How the heck were they both able to hear me? At least no matter how hard these guys try, they could never get in here. Sweet, so we got ourselves a full blown. Alright. We've actually done astonishingly well. Because normally. It's not doing what I'm doing right now. I'm actually get killed right about here. I would have been killed by her. I bet you. <sighs> it's just I'm maybe sort of kind of skilled at kniving and assassinating zombies. It's a skill I perfected. <clears throat> but I would not be surprised if someone else had serious trouble trying to loot this place like how I am. So yeah, don't do what I'm doing. Alright, I need to get over here and kill this one. to that group over there. I should go ahead and just clear them out. We got ourselves a 
a little bit of a rifle here. could be an unexpected problem. No matter how skilled you are. <clears throat> yeah, we're definitely going to be shooting when we get over to that burner. We just killed that many.
Alright, we're gonna need all this stuff later. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and get out of this place. Oh, it was missing two wheels. Are you kidding me? I was just missing one. sufficiently geared. Though my rad's pretty bad. GPS in towards that one's Alright, so we gotta keep going down this road, take a left, and then take a right. Left, then right, alright. So gonna wait till we get there. Code unturn this zone called uh, Pripyat. I suggest you guys watch it. It's actually a pretty cool map. And tell me what you guys think of that map because I think I'm basically not exactly copying some details, but you know, like the anomalies. I know that's part of the uh, zone uh, storyline. But okay, how far from here? Oh, yeah, we're going down this road for a while. So it does mean anyone who's going to farm up the materials for uh, dead zoning is definitely going to go here. So the place is off road. You will see it. Um, is this it right here? Oh, we passed it. And this is it. But yeah, that there were some really cool things involving it. Effects. Okay, I believe this is it right here. It would be very, very hard to spot on the map. Like now, just driving, not using the map feature. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is it. This is definitely it. Yeah. So the ones without helmets have crappier drops. As you can see, there is already some loot all over the ground out here. I think I should make this. Are these zombies. Yeah. There is a mega back. Sweet. 
this location works. See, the ones with helmets have like twice health of the ones that don't have helmets. And that is the edge right there. And we just got one of the rarest items from here in one freaking go. GG boys. I would love to get a full suit. that burner if he gets on us. Well, actually, we have enough medical, we could probably just melee him. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's go and try that. Alright, yeah, we have a lot of medical. Definitely not a location you want to be just hanging around at. It's here. I am actually going down on health quite quickly. Okay, no. Not 100% sure what blood bags are used for, but whatever they're used for, it's probably useful. And yes, you can get berries refined here as well. Of course, he has worse drops. <laughs> All right, how many shells we got? Three, so eight, so twelve. We got twelve shells in total. Oh, I am dead. I'm good at everything. But yeah, we managed to kill him. He saw how many shotgun shells that took us, and it nearly killed us. Oh, and there's one the rare, rare. <coughs> this one's. Oh yeah, GG. Biohazard top. So yeah, you can get biohazard armor. As you just saw right there. Oh man, yo. This stuff's actually kind of hard to get. So yeah, I will be making this location also a dead zone in itself. So you will require lots of medical to loot this place, but you will get some in return. You could see from the massive amount I actually got. The dressing. Oh, there's a bandage. You won't get rags from here, I don't think. You might be able to. I don't... But, um, I don't think I put that in. Could already be in the uh, other miracle. Am I bleeding? Yep. See how close to death I get down here? Now imagine this plus rads. As in rads. I think it's gonna be decent battles. Mid level. I would very much struggle solo. Like, this is very, very group built. 
but getting the materials for the group things it would be kind of difficult. So I think I'm gonna have to expand the dead zone for this location. It's definitely gonna have to be larger than these uh, mountains. So it's gonna be going on the edge of the mountains. So you can't just snipe down at the zombies. But it's also gonna have to go far enough over here that uh, you don't just run in here and basically you don't run over here, shoot them, and then run in here and loot them. You can't do that. I don't want that to happen. So yeah, I'll be adding dead zones to this location to probably extend all the way till about here. So you might be able to still shoot him. I don't know. I might have him all the way here. Right up here to the curb, yep. Right here. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. You saw the gist of this new location. It is very difficult to loot. I, of course, didn't go to the, any of the uh, locations like Camp Samaritan or Camp Sovereign on camera. That was kind of on purpose. Or Castle Galfrey or any of that. I want you guys to experience those locations yourself in game. I just wanted to show you that it is going to be possible to get filters and biohazard stuff before you enter the dead zone. And this is probably the best spot for it as well. And you will also be able to achieve these items in certain parts of the Dogfighter, Lester Rig, and the Gold Digger. So yes, both those locations will let you achieve well, all three of these plus this location are going to be the only four locations um, down here where I can get it. And basically, oh geez, that makes like the Illuminati. Like, look at that, it even looks like the eye. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. <laughs>